Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got another truck. We've got the Zling Home Toys 9130. It's been out quite a long time. Very, very light truck. Loads of reviews on this about. The reason I'm reviewing it is I got this really, really cheap. I think I paid £31 for it from Gearbest. And it's amazing. So let's just have a quick look and let me show you what you get for your money. Don't forget the truck, transmitter, which is decent. Um, the batteries inside here, which I'll show you, you get a charger and you get a couple of spare bits just in case, especially these pins. So let me just show you inside. Let's take the top off. Really easy top to come off. So when you get this, you will see you'll get a wire with a couple of lights on that plugs into here. I've actually just taped mine behind there so I've got front lights but you could put them on the back and do whatever you wanted. That plugs in there. So there's your motor, as you can see. Your speed controller stroke, 2.4 gigahertz receiver. And then on the other side of the truck inside you have the battery pack, which is, I think this one is a, I can't read that, this one second. I think it's a, I'll take it out and have a look. So it helps in with this nice little catch mechanism here. So as you can see, it's a 500 milliamp hour 7.4. I love this design, this just goes in here like this. You click it in, and then you simply lock it into place there. You can't get much simpler than that, can you? So that's the truck. So let me just turn it on and show you. Connect the battery up. And click the top back on. Put the pins back in so I don't lose them. I'm terrible at losing these pins. You can get this in, I think it comes in red or green or this colour, the blue one which I got. I chose the blue one. They had all, all the different colours on this sale price when I bought it but I just fancied the blue one. So underneath, full covered chassis, which I love. So nothing's going to get in there and damage anything. Shock absorbers are adjustable at the back. They're obviously not oil filled for this money. You can see shockers there and the front shockers. Let me just turn it on. A little light is a little switch on the side. So if you look there, there's a little push button. Click the push button in. Turn on your remote controller. There you go. So I hope, I don't know if you can see the lights or not, it's pretty bright in here, but I, you can see the lights. You probably see it better when I do the drive test, but the bulbs are inside there. As this fully proportional, fully proportional steering, as you'd expect, and throttle. Really smooth, actually. The servo's mega smooth on this thing. I really do like the servo. And as you can see, it's got quite a bit of pull. I actually don't mind this controller at all, it runs on three AA batteries, so it's not one of the greedy ones that take six. You've got your throttle trim and your steering trim on top of here. And it really is a nicely finished, I love the size of it. You're going to see how well this thing drives, there's loads of videos about on this thing, it's quite indestructible. For the money I think it's fantastic, it's another cheap truck. If you're looking at getting an RC truck and maybe for your kid or for yourself or you want to just get into this and have a go, this is perfect for that. If you just want to get into it and you're not sure if you like it, like it or not, 30 or just over £30, it's a no-brainer. It's a nice truck, you're going to have good fun with it. And it really is incredible value for money. You're going to see from the video how well it drives, this thing is amazingly good fun. I, I could drive this thing all day, it's really, it's, it's that smooth to drive and that nice. Suspension's decent on it, it doesn't try and tip every two minutes like some do. Tires are nice and soft, quite grippy as you can see from the tread pattern. So yeah, highly recommend it. The only thing I probably don't like about it is it's got this little push button here, I'd rather have it have a normal switch because as you saw from then it didn't work the first time I pressed it. It'd be better if it had a switch. Apart from that, it's the only thing I really don't like about the whole thing. I really do love it. I even like the transmitter, like I said. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Enjoy the video that's coming up of me driving it around and having a bit of fun. See if you like it. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.